Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM and it comes in 130 second scale. This is actually a second version of the Yak-9 aircraft and as you can see this time we get Yak-9K. So this K stands for the special big caliber gun which was installed in the V-mount of the engine. As you can see it even has the muzzle brake protruding from the propeller hub and we have a commercial sample here so this 130 second scale kit is actually the final form of the model and you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review as you can notice the kit number is 32091 and we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied here so first of all i have to know the box art it looks fine here is comparison with my hand i would say it's a typical size for icm so you won't be surprised if you already built some of their kits on the side you will find some information about this kit and also short history note about the real aircraft so we have 175 parts and wingspan is 304 millimeters and on the opposite side you can see three marking options which are included here so as you can see there are somewhat similar but still it will be an interesting choice to do and decide which one you would like to copy in 130 second scale so what I'm going to do now is to cut through these seals because as usual for ICM box is sealed with the plastic tape as you can see it's a clear tape and you won't be able to open the box unless you cut through these seals and obviously if these seals are broken it means somebody was opening the box before you and it's a good idea to ask seller why it was opened before you or maybe at least check the parts so that you know that everything is intact and everything is in the box. And of course I can also remind you that you can support us with a small donation. It's quite easy thing to do because we have a special big red button on our website and it's done via PayPal or you can do it here straight on YouTube. And we have even some subscription tires which give you various benefits and even free kits every month so as you can see box structure is standard for this brand as i said before so now we are going to open this white box and here is what we have inside so all parts are packed into the same plastic bag and we are going to take this box aside open it and get the plastic part so just give me a moment you can hear that i'm taking everything out of the plastic bag Okay, so we are going to start with wing parts. This is a sprue B2. So here you can see both wing panels. It means this three parts, which will have to be combined together. Note that ailerons are molded separately, but flaps are molded in. And if I zoom in even closer here, you can see external features. So these are recessed panel lines. They're not that deep. That's why you will have to be careful while joining or actually painting the parts because it will be uh, really easy to get it lost under layers of paint and primer. And if I zoom out here, you can check the parts from the opposite side. We have guiding pins on the wing edges, so it will be handy for the proper position of these parts together. Okay, and they're not small as you remember, so that's why it's handy. Next, we continue with the uh, new parts. As far as I remember, it was not included in the previous release, so it's a sprue G. And here we have this special cannon, which is installed through the propeller hub. And note that this cannon should be glued out of two holes. We have guiding elements inside, but I'm not sure about actually doing this let's say think out of two halves at least the muzzle brake is molded as a single piece part so it means that you have a more or less let's say solid finish in this visible part or visible section of this gun next we continue with another thing so here we have this sprue which is dedicated to some cockpit parts and also to some internal elements so if i zoom out you understand what i'm talking about and overall molding quality looks fine i like that this uh, cockpit frame parts they are actually molded as a single piece parts so it means it will be easier to combine them together you don't have to play spend some time trying to align all these bars together between each other so it's just a matter of uh, taking these parts and installing them into the right spot. Of course, it would be a wise idea to use the plastic saw so that you won't damage the parts. Okay, next is the sprue E. So here we have mix of various parts. For example, landing gear legs are here, both three. 
all three and also we have some cockpit parts we have more for the parts for the landing gear we have exhaust stacks here and also some minor elements but molding quality is really fine so even these tiny parts if i zoom in here you can see comparison with my finger and they're really nicely molded without any flash or other possible molding damage so it's just a matter of uh, installing them into the cockpit of course it might be also a good idea to get some pe parts for the cockpit because i know that some aftermarket manufacturers already started producing their own sets for this model so you can upgrade it and next we continue with the fuselage halves so i need to zoom out a bit more here we have parts molded together with a tail fin i really like the surface uh, tension imitation here it looks quite convincing and of course you can even bring it out with some pre-shading and maybe some weathering or washes and if I zoom in here, you can see this feature in a bit closer view. Of course, we also have here the instrument panel. We have this special frame for the engine bay area. And as you remember, we have the cooling panel molded as a single piece part. So that's really great. And if I flip it over here or inside, we do not have that many features because as you remember, we have the cockpit subframes molded separately and they will be basically installed here but we have the guiding pins in my opinion this is quite important because the size of these fuselage halves are is quite large and that's why it's better to have some let's say helpful elements which will be useful during the assembly now i'm opening the clear plastic bag so just give me a second here in this clear plastic bag we have a transparent sprue and of course it carries all the necessary canopy parts and of course you can copy the open cockpit and as far as I remember previous release included the masks templates so I hope this one will not be an exclusion because it will be handy in such large scale and you won't have to spend your money trying to get the mask set. Next we continue with the final sprue, it's a frame lettered C and here again we have a mix of parts, for example tail wings, we have rudder, we have also some parts for the wings and wheel wells area, we have even the engine here, one piece propeller, air intake which is molded as a one piece part actually, so you can see uh, you won't have to deal with separate panels here and also I can see the landing gear doors I'm not sure if you can actually assemble the aircraft with retracted landing gear, so you have to investigate it by yourself because manufacturer does not mention such assembly option, but obviously it should be, um, let's say, possible with some tweaks. And also landing gear wheels. That's something what I would recommend to upgrade if you would like to get a nice finish because they look fine for out-of-the-box build, but maybe you would like to have more on your 130 second scale. And in my opinion, winding gear wheels is the upgrade which is always noticeable on 130 second scale, so that's why it's worth the investment. Next we continue with the decals sheet. So here we have not only the stars, we also have the decals for the instrument dashboard. Frankly speaking, I'm not sure why the stars are cut through the middle, but okay, anyway, you can see also we have the aircraft numbers. And for the cockpit, I would rather advise to get the P set because it will bring more features and it will make the whole assembly a bit more convincing. Next, we continue with assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large cover printed brochure. You can see that we have a short history note on the first page. And next, here we have, I guess we should close the lenses even more. Okay, so here we have the parts map. Obviously the red color means that these parts will stay untouched. Assembly process starts with the cockpit and note that a lot of uh, control elements are actually copied with plastic parts, not with PE parts, which is quite interesting because usually all these things, they're uh, copied with help of PE parts only. Some manufacturers just skip them. And next we continue with the cockpit walls assembly. We start building the pilot seat and instrument panel. As you can see, all this stuff gets installed in between fuselage halves. And then we start working on the main cannon and the engine, because as you remember, this main cannon is installed in between engine. So here you have the steps for the closed bonnet. 
and it means that you do not have to paint these parts and here we have the steps for the open bonnet because here you have to use a bit more parts and maybe it would be a wise idea to copy some wiring as well because as far as I remember it's visible on the open top version and next we continue with various target sites and other uh, cockpit add-ons here we install the meshes or so radiator meshes in the air intake then we continue with canopy parts so with canopy parts you have to decide whether you would like to have it open or closed here we assemble main wheel wells also install ailerons in place as you remember flaps are molded in and then we just join it together with the fuselage then we work on the tail surfaces and here you can see also landing gear parts installation as well as the landing gear legs, propeller and that's pretty much all. Note that manufacturer does not mention the open cockpit version. Here our aircraft is assembled with closed cockpit but obviously you can just slide out the middle section in order to expose the cockpit. And here we have first and second marking option, that's the third marking option, so in total three marking options for this aircraft in 130 second scale. So it should be already available and you can get it for example in Modelimax. In my opinion it's an interesting build in a big scale and of course some Modelers will be happy to have finally the really good option to build. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.